Chapter 8, Ninja Zombie Showdown Leave Frankie alone, I shouted at Mark. I tried to grab his arm, but water was spilling from the sink so that when Mark pushed me, I went sliding across the floor and whacked against the shower stall in the corner. The shower stall that had a drain in its floor that meant Frankie could get out. Frankie, over here, I yelled, lifting up the grate that blocked the drain. Frankie's eyes burned a fiercer green. He propelled himself out of the sink using all his strength. As Frankie jumped, he was facing the mirrors above the sink. But he was at eye level with Mark just for a second. His stare met Mark's reflection and Mark suddenly looked over to the wall and toward my nostril. Frankie was hypnotizing him, but he suddenly dropped to the floor, breaking eye contact. Still, it was enough to stun him. Frankie let the overflowing water carry him across the tiles and toward the drain. He flicked his tail in a wave to me as he passed by, and then he was down the drain and away from Mark. Mark moaned. He was coming out of his stunned, zombified state. I had to get out of there. I scrambled across the wet floor and ran out the door. As I got to the top of the stairs, an announcement came over the loudspeaker. It was Mrs. Prentice's voice, but she sounded weird. Would all students and teachers please tune in to the internal school channel on the whiteboards or computers? We are now going to show a mandatory video about internet safety. Everyone must watch. I heard Sanja's sinister wheeze in the background. This was it. Sanj was going to hypnotize everyone in the school. I crossed my fingers and hoped that Pradeep could stop him in time. I knew Frankie was okay for now. I had to get Sammy and go and help Pradeep. As I tiptoed into the cafeteria in the basement, I could hear Sammy's voice. I poked my head around the kitchen door and saw her sitting on one of the kitchen counters with the lunch ladies gathered around. Oh no, what if they were zombie lunch ladies? I was just about to jump out from behind the door and surprise the zombie lunch ladies when I heard Sammy singing, one, two, three, four, five, once I caught fishy alive. The lunch ladies all clapped. Good. They were distracted. Now was my best chance for a rescue. I pounced into the room doing my best ninja stance. Hiya! I shouted, I'm here, Sammy. I'll save you. They all turned to look at me. At first, they gave me the classic lunch lady stare, the stare that said, Don't you even ask me what's in this lunch because you don't want to know, and anyway, I'd have to kill you if I told you. Then the lunch lady with the orange hairnet smiled and said, Oh, this is the little boy whose brother ate his egg this morning. Remember? I told you. Then they all smiled and shared a look. Oh, yes, poor thing, one said. They nodded sympathetically. So, have you come to collect our little princess here? The orange hairnet lady said as she lifted Sammy off the counter. She wondered in saying something about a fishy, so I asked her if she knew any songs about fishies, and she just started singing. You're a good little singer, aren't you? She said, patting Sammy on the head. The other lunch ladies nodded. Sammy looked at me and giggled. I was stunned. I had never heard a lunch lady say anything but more egg to me ever. They always looked so scary, but these ones seemed nice. And even better, they weren't fish zombies. Excuse me, ma'am, I said. Oh, isn't he so polite? Not like some of them, one of the lunch ladies said. They all nodded again. Have any of you looked at a computer this morning, I asked. We don't need a computer down here, honey, the hairnut lunch lady answered. Why? I thought about explaining that my evil scientist big brother and Pradeep's evil computer genius big brother had formed an evil society called Bedlam that had taken over the school's computers and right now they were planning on turning all the students and staff into fish zombies, but then I changed my mind. Another announcement came over the loudspeaker. Everyone seems to be online, so we'll start the program. I'm uploading the virus, I mean safety video now. Sanj said with the robot voice effect he had before. Keep watching your screens until the film ends. After a few seconds, I heard the creepy sound of a hundred students and teachers all mumbling, swishy little fishy. Too late to stop the school from being zombified now, but I could still stop it happening to us and the rest of the world. Your first command, my zombie fish slaves, continued Sanj, is find that little moron Tom. 
And his moron fish, Mark interrupted. And his moron fish, Sands repeated. Then bring them to me.